Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video, and this is just going to be a let's open some green light video, and I got some really cool green light to show you, some older green light stuff, we're going to start with this two pack right here of these, uh, I think these are called factory two packs, yeah factory two packs, so we're going to start with this one, this is the only one that's in like a weird box sort of packaging, the rest are going to be blister carded, um, they are all going to be pretty much older green light. It's going to destroy this packaging here. So this is what? Factory 2 packs. Is there a series number or anything like that? No. Doesn't look like it. But here's your vehicles. 67 Shelby GT500 and a 2007 GT500. Pretty cool. Um, we'll go ahead and pull the vehicles out. <coughs> So these, all the ones we're going to show today, I think are all going to be green post green light, which what I mean by that is the rivet on the bottom is green, and that usually denotes they're older. Um, what was the date? 2007 on this one. So here you go, this yellow Mustang. Kind of a little paint bubbling here, a little paint rash. It's something you normally see from older cars from... Uh, that are made in China, typically of Japanese die-cast brands, or like Kyosho, stuff like that. 1356 is our serial number on the bottom here, tooling number 25, it's an older one. A lot of the times you'll notice on these older green light too, they have these big wide tires on them. Not exactly scale accurate, but from like a profile and stuff like that, they look great. And... Uh, this is a pretty nice little car. And then the next one is your 2007. And this one's got some paint rashing as well. Um, I usually, <clears throat> I always get these green light cars, these older ones, when I can find them cheap. So all these are going to be no exception. I think this is, is that tooling number nine? Yeah. So tooling number nine, so this is an early one in the green light tooling catalog. Of course, opening hood. Just that's kind of unfortunate about that. You can see that roughness in the paint right there. Uh, 2789 is the serial. But decent piece otherwise. And it's just that one side has some paint bubbling going on. Kind of odd. It's still <clears throat> out. The jury's still out on what exactly causes that to happen. <clears throat> Um, no one really knows. Some people think it's humidity, temperature changes, some sort of reaction with the clear coat, with the base coat. I don't know. It's not very typical of green light, though, so this is kind of odd on this one. Um, all right, next we'll look at the Custom 67 Dodge Hemi Cornet RT. This is from Muscle Car Garage Stock and Custom, a really cool series. This looks like this was also purchased at Kmart originally. Um, so these are, this was a really cool series. Basically, the cars came out, like the castings came out as a stock version and a custom version. So this is the custom 1967 Hemi. Uh, muscle car garage. And these came out around 2000, probably 2006-ish. And I think, yeah, they come with these little cards. Stock and custom. Here is the car. So some really cool uh, custom muscle car uh, designs and stuff like that in here. Um, this uh, tooling number is tooling number 13. I believe is what that says, yeah. Just zoom in real quick. And I know some of you don't care about the tooling number. It's just, it's for my reference. Uh, Green Post, of course, 1271 is the serial number. Pretty awesome. A lot of the quality control in this older green light is pretty excellent. <clears throat> the cars, I don't know, for some reason just feel heavier and stuff. Um, this has a plastic top because there is a convertible version of it as well. Um, RT Hemi on the plate. Pretty good detail all around. Most of these um, older toolings too were also constructed without any uh, inserted details. They were uh, mostly painted details but they look pretty good and pretty nice I like this older green light stuff I think they're pretty cool the only thing the only knock on them I guess would be these wide tires <clears throat> they're just way wider than uh, 
you know what a 164 scale tire should look like um but yeah not much of a complaint all right so there's that one did we open the hood i think we did oh there it is all right next is the custom 1965 dodge cornet 426 so here's another one um another cornet and uh this is a 65 appears to be a different tooling um you know, you can look in the back. This is Muscle Car Garage Series 3. There's your copyright date of 2007, so this one's slightly newer. Uh, same deal. This is going to come with this little sort of collector card thing with a rendering of the vehicle. And then the vehicle itself. The packaging on this is pretty yellowed, but that's okay by me, of course. The car has survived, it appears. Mopar performance, pretty basic livery. This one's got a little bit of a lean to, a little bit of a lean to it. I have two of these though. I have another one carded. I might open up the other one just to see if it fared better. Ah, there you go. Hood was stuck, but we got her open. It's good detail under there. Uh, tooling number 10, 5422. Looks pretty good. Just got that little bit of a lean. I think I'm gonna open the other one. Why not? I have it here. Um, Cause I'll take the best of the two and then the other one will end up on my table at a local meet. Where it will be sold cheaply. I bought these cheaply, so. Here is the other one. Just opened up. That one had better packaging, but that's why I opened up the crappy packaging first, but it might be in better shape on the inside. Paint looks good, and it stands quite a bit straighter. So I think that's the one we're gonna keep. Uh, so serial number on this one's 4135 as opposed to 5422. So pretty cool, this one I'm gonna set aside. So we'll just kind of park over here. And what do we got next? We got more Muscle Car Garage. Most of these are going to be Muscle Car Garage. Actually, why don't we do this? I'm going to open up the one that isn't. I have one that's not. One more that's not. So let's do that one first. It is a Corvette. 1979 Corvette. Uh, from the Corvette Collection. These came out, oh, it looks like 2007-ish. <clears throat> pretty cool greenlight you know had a good start with some really cool stuff they still come out with some really cool stuff but muscle cars originally was their thing yeah this one comes with just this little thing and here's the car and we got like a slight amount of paint bubbling on this one too. I mean, that could have been just straight out of the factory though. Uh, we do have an opening hood feature on this casting. It's probably my favorite Corvette casting from Greenlight. Uh, it's tooling number 14. There's your serial number. Definitely have some oxidation, ox <coughs> yeah, oxidation on the uh, base and of course the green post pretty cool though rolls really nice that's a nice looking Corvette very cool all right it's almost like a purple it's blue I think it's blue it's almost purple though all right another Corvette this one's definitely blue 1967 Chevrolet Corvette 427 this is in the muscle car garage street and strip so this one is similar to uh the stock and custom street and strip is i think they just have the street i'm not sure whatever this is what they have in here so i guess maybe street cars that could also go on a drag strip walmart ontario canada interesting um 
let's go ahead and open it up. So series nine of Muscle Car Garage. And again, it's gonna come with that card. I'll pull that out. There's your card. Same on both sides. And here's the vat. Very cool. Something weird going on with the side pipe there. Maybe a little flashing left over on that. So, tooling number 15B. This is the B variation of the tooling number 15. And this one should also have an opening hood. There's your engine. It's a nice looking one. I like it. Rolls really well. Kind of cool. Glad to add it to the collection. <clears throat> I just like this old green light stuff. I just do. Uh, here's the custom 2007 Ford Mustang GT slash CS. And this is in Muscle Car Garage Stock and Custom Series 3. Copyright date 2007. Nice color on this one. Another blue one. There's your card. Interesting, they have like a print of the, I just realized that they have a print of like the license plate. On the side of the packaging. So it's kind of neat, different. And this one's pretty nice too. With the, it's got some weird flashing in this rim. The other ones are perfect. There's your green rivet, GL009, 2249. Opening hood feature, of course. Pretty cool. So this is the same tooling, right, as this one? Yeah. It's kind of cool, like what just different wheels and stuff can kind of do to really change the look of a casting. So, obviously these have diff like different front cores, but they are both the 009 tooling. That's pretty cool. All right, they have different hoods too, which is kind of neat. All right, so let's see what's next. Pontiac GTO convertible in red, muscle car garage, stock and custom. And this is in series, doesn't say in the back. 2006 is the copyright date. Again, got the plate right there. Card. Pretty neat. There's your car. Pretty plain Jane GTO, but Not a bad looking one either. Tooling number three, real early in the tooling lineup. I don't remember what the first tooling was, tooling number one. I might have one in this little collection here. Opening hood, of course, 1654 is your serial number. Rolls real nice. Nice version of this car. Pretty basic. Well, pretty cool. All right, what do we got left? We got four left yet. Um, this one's a really cool one. This is one of my favorite green light toolings. This is the 89 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. I already had this car, but it had a crack in the back window. So this is a replacement for it. Hopefully this uh, looks better. Uh, Stock and Custom Series. Muscle Car Garage Series 6. 2008 copyright date. Same old, same old. We got the uh, little card there with the image of the car. 
This one does not have the plate on the little plastic piece. And it looks like we got a good one. 2003 is your serial number. 26 is your tooling number. Oxidation on the base, quite a bit of it, but uh, it's all right. This one's got an opening hood. There we go. And there's your engine. Pretty nicely detailed in there. Actually, hang on. Can I get that open again? Oh, never mind. Forget about it. Very, very cool. Yeah, I like this tooling quite a bit. It's even got like the indicator light. Is that what that is? Indicator lights in the hood. That's really cool. All right. <clears throat> so I like this one quite a bit. I like this casting quite a bit. I'm after any version of it I don't already have. There's a couple that I'm missing, I think, still. So still on the lookout for those. We've got three different cars left here. This one might be my favorite, even though I pretty much already had it. Rolls real good. Set that off to the side here. And then uh, here's another... Dodge. This is a custom 1970 Dodge Charger RT Hemi. And of course, Muscle Car Garage. Stock and custom. Series 7. Copyright date 2008. Contains one die cast car and one trading card. Uh, interesting concept. I don't know if those cards are worth anything. Um... If they are, I would probably throw up a lot on eBay and say, hey, maybe he wants these. I save them all for whatever reason. I doubt many people really did, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Love the color on this one. It looks absolutely fantastic. This, like, metal flake orange. It just looks really good. Like a deep orange. really cool i have a lot of versions of this casting and a lot of them are pretty cool this one is uh casting number 30 it's a 030 2176 is your copyright date engine looks pretty small in there rolls really good and I really like this one, actually. That color just... It's got a lot of depth to it. It looks really, really nice. Super nice. So I'm digging that one for sure. That one's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. What's next? We got another Dodge. <clears throat> Dodge Charger RT. Custom 1971. We got some flamage on this one. Uh, muscle Car Garage. Stock and Custom. Series 3, 2007, copyright date. This one's got the plate and the thing. And, of course, as we're used to by now, the card. Same image on each side. And <clears throat> your car. Pretty cool. I think this is only my second version, I think, of this tooling. It's the oddball charger, like, silhouette. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of. There's the motor. In comparison to other generations of this vehicle. This one, uh, 3895 is your serial number, tooling number 20. But happy to have a couple versions. I got a real stock looking version, and now I've got this version right here. All right, and we're going to, the final one today is going to be a very popular casting, actually, from Greenlight. Popular in the sense that some of these older ones, for whatever reason, on the secondhand market, uh, kind of are up there in value. This one is the 1973 AMC Javelin AMX. Now, I don't know how pricey this one is. It's from Muscle Car Garage Hobby Collection. It includes a tool shop accessory. And it's Series 4. 
So I think it's Muscle Car, uh, Muscle Car Garage Hobby Collection Series 4. Here's the other ones that were in the series. And uh, so this is a copyright date of 2009. But like I was saying before, for some reason, like this tooling in general from Greenlight seems to be one, I don't know, that people kind of go after in the secondhand market. Or at least they ask quite a bit of money for sometimes. I got this one, I don't remember where, but I got it super cheap. And you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know I usually don't like spring for die I don't spend a ton of money on die cast unless it's something I really, really want. But I, like per car, I don't spend a lot. Usually I just wait for the deals, you know, to happen. That's part of the fun and hunting for me. Um, so there's our little tool shop. What is that? A press, press, press break or something? Stamp press, stamp press. And there we go. Beautiful blue color. Opening hood. Doesn't want to open further than that. The motor's like a metallic blue in there. Looks really cool. 677 is our serial. And GL047 is our tooling number. Very, very cool. So this one's definitely up there. It's one of my favorites that we've opened up today. I would say if I have three favorites are pretty easy in this on this one and it's this one this one and of course the bird those are my three picks but I think all these today were pretty cool probably the worst ones were the first ones I opened all right so that's it today thanks guys very much for watching if you want to check out more green light content just go to the green light playlist where this video resides and many other green light videos including case unboxings and all sorts of other stuff so check that stuff out. Thank you guys very much for watching another one, and have a great day.